Story time. <laughs> Story time with Ryan. Yes. Yes. All right. So this uh, this summer, this uh, this summer, I, I I got a call from a friend of mine at, to ask me to participate in something really cool. Right. It was the 75th anniversary of Jackie Robinson going into the major leagues, and they were putting together a celebrity softball tournament or softball game at Jackie Robinson Stadium there at UCLA. And he asked me to be a part of it, and I just thought that was incredibly cool. I got to meet Jackie's granddaughters, um, the foundation that puts it on, Nike, and um, uh, everybody stood up uh, to put this event on. There were celebrities such as Lil Wayne, who was a part of it. That was pretty cool. Uh, he, he was on my team. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh, there we are. There Who's, we are. He was a lot baby. shorter than I thought Who's he was. We all got to wear Dodgers uniforms That's with the number 42 and Robinson on the back. Uh, it, it was a, an unbelievable night. As in anything, when it comes to competition, I am, I go a little bit over the top, right? I have, <laughs> I have to compete at everything. It's been a curse of mine my whole life, right? Um, so, like, I took this really seriously. <laughs> You know, I wanted to play every inning and like one our coach who was TJ TJ Hushmanzada was like, dude, you got I mean, you can't play every can't play every inning. I wanted to play shortstop and I wanted to uh but they did they did ask me to be the the home run derby participant from our team. We were the white team versus the blue team. And the blue team's uh participant, there's one, there's a bomb right there. Uh the blue team's participant was none other than there we go. That's a bomb. Terrell Owens was was my competition. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, before we get into this story uh, around the home run derby, there is a backstory to Terrell Owens. Okay. So, how many years ago was it again that he got inducted into the Hall of Fame? Like three years ago, maybe. Yeah, three, four, something like that. He All famously right. did not show up to Ken. Right, and then th- this is this bears out the story here. Okay. okay. So I was hosting a. Uh, one of my whatever shows on Sirius XM or on the Rich Eisen show, who knows? But I was, when the news broke that he was inducted and he said, I'm not going to Canton. I'm not doing it, right? You didn't vote me in as a first team all, uh, or you didn't vote me in as first ballot Hall of Famer. Right. You, you know, you've been, you've been against me from the start. All these things, there was a ton of resentment there. And, um, and for somebody who has had a ton of resentment for many years around things and how it's disappointed me because I'd made wrong choices and wrong decisions, I like, I spoke about it. I was like, T.O., don't do this, man. Please don't do this. Go show up. You will not believe what that what that Saturday will be like in Canton. Everybody there to celebrate you. You deserve this, right? You deserve this opportunity for how great you were as an NFL player. Mm-hmm. Please don't do this. Well, somehow it must have gotten back to him that I was I, – I think I probably tweeted about it too, so – uh, it, it was an issue. I didn't think anything of it. You know, it, we do this all the time, right? We we, we talk about stuff on mm-hmm. the show. Well, I, I'm at Reggie Bush's um, golf, celebrity golf tournament a couple weeks later down in Del Mar, and I'm getting my golf clubs out of my bag or I'm getting my golf clubs out of my, my trunk of my car, and all of a sudden I see this guy sauntering over to me. Big dude. I look up, it's T.O., and he's coming right at me. Oh. And I'm still on parole at the time, Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to go. T.O. comes to me and Will Smith's me pretty much and says, keep my name out your, M- you know, M M-M mouth. And then was just standing over to me. I'm like, I'm going to have to fight T.O. in the parking lot of the Del Mar Country Club. <laughs> and I'm going back to jail. <laughs> I mean, I really was. I'm like, I'm not going to touch him. Hopefully I won't get it. But I'm going back to jail because of this. Because I said that you should have went to the, the Hall of Fame. And I'm just looking at him. And I'm going, Dude, are, do we have to do we have to fight each other? And he's just kind of standing there with his glasses on, just you know, huffing and puffing. And I'm like, luckily for me, he he chose to he just one more time told me to keep his name out of his mouth and and go away. Oh my god! And he did. And it's and I hadn't thought about it much afterwards. The fact that there always was something that was <laughs> a bit traumatic, but that was announced he was on the team uh, for the opposing team. And uh, I remember calling the guy that invited me. I'm like. You know, last time I saw T.O., he tried to fight me. Is, I mean, is this is this a possibility? <laughs> is this really a possibility? Because I don't need to be getting any in any trouble at all, at all here. Long story short, we go in, we battle each other in the home run derby. You know, there's a trophy of me holding the home run derby hey. championship trophy here. So we'll just we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Said no words. 
said no words, congratulated him on on a, a good performance. But the uh, that's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. He didn't say that. <laughs> that's what we were. The bus beat the Hall of Famer that day, so it was a lot of fun. <laughs> that is um, story time. Story time with Ryan. All right, when we come back, I'm on probation. <laughs> um, I was. I was. I'm like, I'm on parole. Like, if they, they're gonna, I'm gonna go back to jail because to to because I got to fight with to in a parking lot. <laughs> Imagine man, telling that, that, that like story. A TMZ dream headline. Oh, yeah. please. Oh yeah. man. 